Whether you have a small child napping, a family member who works odd hours, or cranky neighbours, one of the most common questions about any canine breed is how much they bark. Today, that's exactly what we're going to find out about the Regal Bull Mastiff, so let's get going. the Bull Massive channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenredCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bull Mastiff and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Bull Mastiffs. So if you're a lifelong Bull Mastiff lover, you think about getting one or you just started your journey with your new Bull Mastiff, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Bull Mastiff video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll find out how much of a barker this powerful breed is and how that could impact your life. First off, let me just say that whilst there are some breeds who have a reputation for barking a lot to almost never, every individual is different. Not every Chihuahua barks their head off all day, and not every Bernese Mountain Dog is silent. The individual's confidence level in you as their leader and their personality are huge factors in how much your canine could bark and in what situations. If you choose your new canine companion from a breeder, you might get a better sense of how much they are likely to bark, both from their parents and their previous litters. But again, each canine is individual. Now, let's find out what kind of a barker the bull mastiff typically is. We'll look at the breed's history first, since their original roles play an important role in a breed's tendency to bark. Developed about 200 years ago in the mid-1800s, the bull mastiff is the result of crossing the English mastiff and the now extinct Old English Bulldog. The original role of this breed was an assistant to English gamekeepers in protecting large estates from poachers. They primarily did this by running off the poachers or by running down and pinning a too slow poacher until the gamekeepers could catch up. They are a large and powerful breed that still makes an impressive deterrent today, but has a mellow enough temperament to do well as part of the family. Part of their job in protecting estates from poachers was to be quiet and not alert the poacher that they were about to be caught. After trapping the poacher up a tree or pinning them down on the ground, the bull mastiff would bark to be found by the gamekeeper. The bull mastiff we know and love today still retains much of this instinct and will often investigate anything approaching their territory or issue a warning bark. Their intimidating size and deep bark are impressive deterrents and they know it so your bull mastiff will use whatever they think best to deal with a given situation. It's critical that they see you as their canine leader that they trust to keep them and the family safe even though they aren't outright aggressive. Another important factor to consider is a breed's tendency toward being a watch versus guard dog when determining how much a breed is likely to bark. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free Principles to the Perfect Puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there. Again, there'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. Since the Bull Mastiff is an excellent guard dog, you should know that they have a serious bark that is as intimidating as their size. This doesn't mean they'll bark at every shadow or person they see, but they could bark at someone or another animal approaching the property. They aren't a great fit for apartment or townhome living since they will hear other voices through the walls that could trigger their guarding instincts. The good news is that the Bull Mastiff can easily be trained to accept all sorts of sounds and activity and respect a hush command. Just know that it is their instinct to guard their family, and they hear better than we do. So you may not hear a couple next door fighting in low tones, but your bull mastiff will. This is part of why they're not a great fit for closed living spaces, but they are a very adaptable breed. So as long as they see you as their canine leader, they'll likely follow your lead if you react or don't react to a situation they assume you're aware of. Overall, you'll find that most bull mastiffs only bark or vocalize when they have good reason to. When excited and playing, they are more likely to have a combination growl bark type of, type of vocalization, which can get loud, but it takes quite a bit to get them that excited. When they see a potential threat or someone knocks on the door is when you'll hear a big, deep bark that means business. This could be problematic if you share walls with your neighbors in an apartment or town home. Most bull mastiff families find the grunts, play growls, and other vocalizations a charming quirk of the breed, and they know they can just as easily be trained to speak on command as they can to hush on command. This is a truly wonderful breed for the calm, consistent canine leader that sets clear boundaries when it comes to vocalizations in everyday life. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so make sure you hit that like button get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe we have two dedicated bull mastiff videos coming here every week so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bull Mastiff channel.